sitting in the old kayak. A little more windier today, and the water's actually kind of dingy, so we'll see what we can do. Stick with us. Thanks for watching. God bless you. So, uh, this place that we're fishing today, folks, this is kind of like backwater off the main river. It's kind of formed a little lake back here. If you go out that way, it takes you out into the river. I thought we'd come back here try some of this backwater today. I figured some bass would be up in here. Man, I'm excited. This kayak fishing is something new for me so far. I'm loving it. Oh, there's one. Oh, maybe it's a tree. Oh, man. Well, folks, the old tree fish. And here I go into the tree. That's great. Good grief. I've got half the tree here. Boys, I got excited there for a minute. I thought I had a monster. Something tapping on it. Must be bluegill. Nope, it's a bass. There you Oh, it's a good one, too. Oh, boys. Look at that. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, man. Four pound line. Come on, baby. Come on, come to daddy. Holy mackerel, look at this. That is a good one right there. It's not a monster, but son, that is a nice large mouth. Thank you, Lord. All right. Look at that, baby. Yes. It's a nine, that's a two pounder, probably two and a half. I've got my scale, but I ain't gonna fool with weighing one this size. Yes, thank you, Lord. Getting to like this kayak fishing, boys and girls. There he goes. Thank you, Lord. Four pound line, an old Zebco Legacy rod, Mitchell reel. That was fun. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's got me wrapped around a tree. Oh, he came off. <sighs> Darn it. Man. So I lost that worm and I decided on this four pound line to put a little joe's fly on there these things will catch about anything but they're great for trout and panfish i've been getting a lot of little taps on that worm from bluegill i'm sure oh there's one golly bluegill now that right there would be good bait throw that sucker on for these big bass in here. Oh, I can get that out of here in a little while. There we 
go. That little sucker. Oh. Sure, if I oh no, if I've even got it uh, rigged up right. So you guys that fish these uh, chatter bait, how do you fish them? Yes, yes, Ooh, thank you Lord, look at that, first bass on the chatterbait folks, it's going to make a believer out of me, oh and I'm going into the tree, sucker was super shallow yes oh he wasn't going nowhere come on there we go all right not a big one thank you Lord that was fun. All right. Awesome. First chatterbait bass. A little late to the party with the chatterbaits, I know, but uh, that's just one of those things, man. There's so many lures out there in so little time. Finally decided to try them. I see some of you guys that I like to watch on YouTube using them. <laughs> well. If I would have known that bird was there, that would probably scared me half to death. Holy mackerel, it's a big old crappie. 
Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, I thought I had a bass and got a crappie. I'm a chatterbait crappie. What about that? See that? There you go, baby. Thank you. Put the old kayak in right on the other side of the boat ramp over there. Right over there. Something has been jumping. We're gonna make a cast real quick before we take off in the kayak and get it down there. a little bit of a chill to the air early in the morning. Put a little light jacket on for now. Guys, I'm feeling good about this morning. I mean, these fish are active. Grief. What in the world? Something. What? There is something massive over there. Busting the top of the water. Is that an otter? There's something swimming around over there. It almost looks like an otter. It is. Other otters smacking their tails in the water. Going crazy. What in the world? Boy, look at this. This is beautiful. Excuse me, green. things trying to scare them fishermen off or just swimming around just playing okay you guys see him right there swimming this way now huh it's crazy Oh, I got one, guys. I got one. Oh, yes. Oh, no, he's got me around the tree. Oh, there he comes. Oh, yeah. That's a good one for the first fish of the day. If I can get down here and get him. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, yes. Look at that. First thing in the morning, and we got a nice one. Right in the top of mouth, that's where you want to hook them. Yes. And his mouth is eat up on that side. Yeah, thank you, Lord. This is a good sign. Let's get you go, buddy. There it goes. Haven't even got the kayak in the water yet. First fish home. Yes. <laughs> Gonna be a good day, guys. Kayak carry 
it down to the water. That was probably a, a good two and a half pounder anyway. paddle there, life vest, make sure you're always wearing it folks. There he is, it's just a little Just a little. But he went for it. Can't do nothing with the wind blowing me all over the place. Come on, there. All right, the old fluke did it. Little failure. So let him go. There you go. Come on, fishing. Ooh. There's one. They come up to the top and hit it. Yes. Yeah, and he got it. There he is. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, yeah. Not a monster. But boy, he ate that one. Come on, Oh, yeah. Not a giant, but a good one. Right on top of the mile. Good grief. I'm going to have my pliers for this one. There we go. There we go. There he goes. All right, thank you, Lord. We're fighting the wind, but we're catching fish. It's on a gorgeous day, and actually the breeze is really feeling good, even though it's aggravating in the kayak. It's keeping me from burning up out here. That's what, I think it got up to 81 today. All right, guys. Well, we come to the end of the trip. Time to get to the house. Had a good time, though. We did catch a few fish. Not a whole lot, but a couple of nice bass. Surprisingly, a crappie on a chatterbait. And a few bluegill. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless you.